This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutation, viewers. Valdar back here with another episode of Vanguard Bandits. In the last episode, we uh, were traveling back from the Marquis' domain to find the temple with Ultra Gunner in it, but we got stopped off by the Mooseful Nation, headed by Radcott, who knew we were coming this way because he, you know, set a trap for us. But uh, we were able to fight the grotesque Flapjack himself and uh, and continued on, despite thus destroying a nation and its people and its leader all in one fell swoop and we are not going to have any drawback for that whatsoever yeah today we're going to we're <coughs> today bastion's grabbed the ultra gunner but will he be able to get out and be everything fine or or will something prevent us from doing that who knows let's find out start with the interviews i always interviews are basically easy to deal with in uh, the empire version because there's only so many characters that join our team so there's like only so many options but Bastion, I'm just gonna like come out and ask you: Do you like Sadira or do you like me? She even, she doesn't even consider Cecilia part of that apparently. But uh, personality-wise, I probably I'm more of a fan of Sadira because the Valley Girl is kind of definitely a. Uh... Well, I don't know. Sadira could be kind of controlling and obviously emotional in her own way. At least Claire's pretty straightforward about what she is, and it's not like she's an idiot. But you know, anyway. Okay, maybe that's a tougher decision than I thought. I was taught that ninja needs to move swiftly and quietly like the wind itself. Isn't that profound? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Yep, that's not who I went, wished to click, but eh. The princess caught me telling a bad joke, and now she won't speak to me. Why must she be so cruel? <laughs> I'd like to th I kind of wonder what... The sad thing about Halleck is he kind of reminds me of Azira from uh, the Kingdom Path line, at least his personality, anyway. So, I wouldn't say he's an exact clone, but he's pretty close, but... Oh, well. Anyway, let's talk to Sadira. Ashen, do you know what today is? That today is my birthday? You still have time to buy me a present. Oh, wow, okay. And it raises her heart up to, uh, to max, uh... That is, that is love, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's the max you can get. Wow, all right. Say something you did. Hear it, I could not. Go with death I am. All right, and... Uh, let's just do Claire again. Yeah, we've hit the... Hit the love icon with Sadira. Sadira likes me. She doesn't like me. She likes me. The Melania Delta. Oh, yep, yeah, we've been on this map before. I'm doing it. I have the Ultra Gunner under my control. It's time to go outside and show off this beautiful attack. All right. And let's start the mission. Apparently that wasn't much of a briefing. Does that mean the whole mission is us just looking at the mech going, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. That'd be an interesting level, I would admit. Or we're going to fight someone. Oh, uh, we've also got some new mechs, but I'll talk about that here in a second. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Well, here it is, the Ultra Gunner. It's very impressive, Bastion, and very, very white. Hey, that's racist. I mean... Indeed it is, Sadira. I'm not looking forward to keeping it clean between battles. You and me both, brother. That's why I don't buy white cars and stuff like that. What concerns me more is that I don't sense anything especially powerful about it. I'm totally surprised you were able to find it so quickly, Bastion. Wasn't it hidden or something? Who cares, Claire? What's important is that we found it, and that Bastion can operate it. Let's head for Nor Norze Castle, Bastion. We can rest for a while and then decide what to do next. I have a better idea. Why don't you give me Ultra Gunner before I decide to kill you all? Who's there? Imperial troops? Faulkner, you bastard. Wait, is that dire? Like, whatever. Oh my god, they actually translated that into the game. Props working designs. Faulkner. My brother Dyer. Or Dwyer, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Sadira, our father is dead. I forgot I gave him a whiny voice. What? Emperor de Gaulle was certainly not young, but also not in poor health. Was it an accident, Dyer? No, Franco, it was an assassination. Someone crept into his bedchamber and stabbed him to death. Wow, that's pretty horrible. How horrible? Who would do such a thing to father? I was hoping you might be able to answer that question, Sadira. What? I, I don't understand, Dyer. I see. You are feigning ignorance, just as Faulkner predicted you would. Let me make it clear to you for you, then. You are the one who orchestrated our father's murder, Sadira. Murder, Sadira. You conspired to kill him. 
Brother! You are obviously overcome with grief, or you would, would realize what a ridiculous accusation that is! Really, Sidira? You deny your intent to kill father and me, then claim the throne of the Empire? Man, Dyer's more of an idiot in this playthrough than the other ones. I don't want the throne, brother. And I've told you that many times. Don't you remember? Well, it's because you're a woman. I mean, uh, yeah, unfortunately, in fantasy society, unless if she was the only child, then there was a good chance she'd be. But uh, I know this is a fictional world, but that's usually how it occurred. Hey, don't hate me. Hate history, dude. We captured the assassin, Sadir, and he told us everything. Spare me your litany of lies. You are under arrest for mutiny and murder, Sadira. Come with us now, or we will take you by force. You're making an enormous mistake. The assassin was lying to you. I am entirely innocent. Is that so, Sadira? Then why did you rescue the prince of the kingdom and help him find the Ultra Gunner? Oh, he's kind of got you there, Sadira. Because you and he have schemed to conquer the continent under the flag of the Voracian Kingdom. You could have told him about it, by the way. It's not like... <laughs> what is this dialogue? You stupid freak, don't you... <laughs> why is that such a silly line, you stupid freak? I don't know why. Don't you understand? Bastion and I want to end the war, not to wage one. Sadira, there's only one way to convince me of your innocence. Allow us to arrest Bastion and take the Ultra Gunner from him. No, I can't do that. Let them take me, Sadira. Oh, man. Apparently, it's Bastion's into the guys now. All right, all right. That's cool. I'm fine with that. Bastion, no. Sadira's right, Bastion. You'd be, like, totally stupid to let them take the Ultra Gunner. Especially because they want to use it. What do you mean? Claire is correct. Prince Dyer is being manipulated by someone who wants the Ultra Gunner. Someone who could arrange for the Emperor to be killed? Someone who could fill Dyer's head with lies? Don't believe Andor's lies. And who would have that kind of influence, Franco? Really? You have to ask that question? Faulkner. Of course! Because we only figure out stuff when it, at the last second and only what's convenient for the plot and drama. If we surrender, Princess, we'll be thrown into prison and executed shortly thereafter. And if we fight Faulkner and Dyer, we'll be charged with additional crimes against the Empire. It's a no-win situation. What should we do now? I say we fight, Sadira. We'll break through these troops and find a way to prove Faulkner's guilt. I will never surrender, Sadira. It is without honor. Never give up. Never surrender. Bastion. I'm with Bastion. Let's fight. I agree. We must fight, Princess. So, is Cecilia... Oh, okay. I was about to say, is Cecilia Howell going to say anything? There is no try. Only do. And there we go, folks. The Star Wars reference. Well, sort of. I hate the thought, but the phrasing is a little queer, but the truth of the sentence is clear. All right, we'll fight. What's the matter, Sadir? Are you afraid to admit that everything I've said about you is correct? No, brother. You're still wrong. But you won't listen to me. Faulkner has caught your mind with his lies. I'm going to prove my innocence to you, my brother, and, but I must remain free for that to happen. You're going to fight us, Sidira? You're ready to cross swords with your own soldiers? This is a tragic day, Prince Dyer. You must be grieving over the awful choice you are forced to make. Indeed, Faulkner, the citizens of the Empire would consider me weak if I did not kill them here and now. As the new Emperor, I must show strength and courage in the face of this enormous tragedy. It is a courageous decision, indeed, Prince Dyer. I applaud you. Capture the traitors, my soldiers, and kill them if they resist. I think the conversation's over. Here they come! Alright, anyway, we've got a... I swapped out a couple units. I put Halleck in uh, the Barbatos, uh, swapping out uh, her unit. Uh, I think it might be a nice change of pace, so we'll do that for a bit. Um, also, for beating... Uh, uh, I think you get this when you beat uh, um, Marquis Dion without having to fight it with Bastion. You get, uh, you get an extra uh, Flaros in your repertoire. I just forgot to mention that in the last episode, but uh, I decided to put uh, Franco on that and see how that works. It probably won't make that much of a difference, but I thought I'd change up the uh, fight slightly. Um, how do we want to do this? I might just have Franco and Halleck cover that side, maybe. And have uh, Sidira and Bastion take the front here. That sounds like a pretty reasonable way to go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is that enough for him to... Turbulence? No. Maybe one more minute. Okay, there we go. 
and we'll leave uh, Cecilia in the back there, and we'll have a. Yeah, I think that I think that sounds like a solid plan. And we'll have a uh, Claire help out there. Wait for everyone to get close to us. Yeah, I forgot everyone has really high agility in this group. Oh, right. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, let's look at our units. Bastion is level... Uh, let's see. He's 18. Everyone's 18. Levels are pretty good for the most part. At least where I want them to be. Alright. In the fight, we have... Let's see. We have three Barbatoses. Empire units with Dark Blades. Uh, Garnet and Warrior COAs. Average stats. Uh, they have some of the Earth abilities. Not all of them. So, nothing too nasty there. Uh, that I don't have to worry about. So let's see, we got three Imperial Dantariuses with Shimmer Swords, level 17. Uh, a bit better in the agility, defense, and weaponry, but overall still pretty average. Uh, got a few of the... Really only has Tornado. Not really much of the Earth or Wind ability, so we're not too worried it's in there. Got four Iron Logger Imperial Bodyguard units. Uh, better stats than everyone else still. Average comparatively. A um, little agility though, but uh, a little dangerous. More dangerous than the other units. They've got earth stones, so I think that's the final level of earth stones. So they got most of the ones that we have to worry about, like earthquake and stuff like that, so a little bit more dangerous. And then obviously we got uh, Faulkner and his Solaris with the Dur Durandar at level 23. Uh, definitely a bit more dangerous than the other ones. And he's got all the fire abilities. So we have to worry about Flare Bomb and all that. So he'll be dangerous when we fight him. And then we've got the Dwyer and the Cerebellus with the Mystaria. And he's got an Earth Stone. He's got most of... I'm surprised he doesn't have more abilities, though. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, he has all these dormant abilities. But, yeah, Dyer's one of those weird characters that, despite his levels, he never gets a whole lot of abilities. I think it might be a glitch on his part. Or something because he's in very few actual combat scenarios, you know what I mean? Right, so they couldn't really give you a good explanation. But... Right, I guess we're just moving. I guess our agility's so fast that all the other units are taking forever to move. And Bastion's still the slowest out of all this. But he's in the Ultra Gunner, so now, now his stats have increased ten well, not tenfold, but a lot. And uh, yeah, he has all of his abilities, so yeah, we're pretty good. Uh, I only have, a, have to gain, like, two more levels to get his final ability, too, so that's good. It seems to be a, a more even um, even game when we play the uh, the Imperial storyline, I've noticed. Like, the Kingdom's a bit more, because of how many characters can join you in the Kingdom storyline, and how, uh, really, uh, how, how hard it is to kind of level, well, I won't say it's hard, but it's a bit more difficult to keep everyone leveled up evenly because of, like, how stat growth and everything like that works, but or not stat growth, like stats work and everything like that, but uh, so that's probably why I kind of like the Empire Path a bit better because it's a bit more to manage, and everyone gets a bit more characterization in the Empire, Empire Path while in the Kingdom Path, because you get so many characters, a lot of characters are basically left left in the dust in terms of uh, character or like uh, personality wise that's probably why a lot of the characters are, are, uh, man, come on, are, uh, you know, cliches, because they can only, they only can do so much characterization, um, without, uh, without, without being able to go into too much, uh, plot, or story details, you know, or, or without having to focus more of the game towards them, or whatever, so, it's definitely a hard balance to try and, uh, Find a. God, really? Maybe I should have left Franco in the old one. Maybe that would have been. Maybe it would have been better for that. Oh well. I'm definitely gonna. Ow. Oh, okay, let's go right there. Tackle that jerk. Right. Don't want. Don't defend. Come on. Yeah, I need to get, I need to get, uh, really levels wise, I'd probably like everyone except for maybe Cecilia and, uh, and, uh, uh, Claire to get levels, because they're at level 20, so, I mean, either way, I'm, I'm good either way, so, I just, that's the preference. 
Overall, I think we should be pretty good. I don't, I don't really, support, other than maybe Faulkner, I don't really see any nasty for, uh, circumstance. Really? 99%? Ugh, XCOM numbers. I hate you. This is why I'm not a gambler. Seriously, I don't like gambling because I'm not a fan of, uh, of, uh, I'm not a fan of odds and, and stuff like, oh, right, I can't move because freaking, nah. No, but I'll get a... I'm going to do that anyway, just to... Because her level's like, she's a little 20, right? Yeah, I don't kind of don't want to give it a kill. Then again, these guys aren't going to give a lot of experience for the most part, though, so... Her turn, so she doesn't. Like, I don't mind Sadira gaining level because she's level. Oh no, she's level 22. Well then. But I'd rather give it to everyone else. And yeah, she's got no big attacks to use? Man. I have to be careful. Claire might actually. Because she's being surrounded on all sides. God. The numbers are not working in my favor in this case. Nuts! Maybe I do need to move someone over there to help out. Maybe I should take Sadir over there and uh, assist with that. Because cause I think Bastion's got the. Could, uh, Bastion and Cecilia probably have it better by themselves. Uh, final attack of the game. Yeah, maybe I should have switched my units around a bit better for uh, for sakes of uh, um. nice. Oh well, decision made at a better time. Might as well move Franco in for there so you can. Uh, Claire doesn't get completely oops. So Claire doesn't get completely surrounded. Yeah, let's see if that'll help her out with uh, getting her turn quicker. Cause she's gonna take some damage because she's at she uh maxed out her FP. I have anything else to really worry about. I think we're good. I was about to say, I was about to say, we don't want to have to worry about any major changes in the fight, but yeah, the bottom group isn't doing too well. Um, let's see, let's, oh, it hits there. Let's see if that'll hit him. 80 percent. My God, that's annoying. No, no, we can. We're fine. Fine. The numbers, the odds, well, it, they'll happen like that. That's just how it works. Not that that's any type of BS. Nope. Not at all. It's, it's all fair. It's all fine. Oh, good. Claire's not on full at max. Uh, that anymore. Oh, good. Now we can uh, might just go ahead and just surround them and have Halleck move over there next turn. Work on killing them off even faster. Maybe changing out their mechs wasn't the best plan I ever had. Oh well. Yeah, it's fine. Frank has enough HP. And still gets hit. Making them take all the attack hits so they can uh, won't do as much damage to me. Out of that. Let's try that again with 80%, please. Thank you. Let's try 
I'm gonna get Bash in the level so he can get back to 20, so he can uh, compete with uh, everyone else. Yeah, I better defend. Bastion, uh, weirdly enough, in the in the in the Empire version though, Bastion isn't as ridiculously overpowered in the Ultra Gunner as I think it's because in the Kingdom Path we did have a ton of characters to consider and deal with. While in this one we only have so many troops, so we have to kind of just deal with the uh, with the aftermath, um, or we have to deal with with our small numbers. Yeah, I'll have to let uh, the princess gain some levels here, because otherwise we're not, or at least we have attack stuff, so otherwise we're going to be in big trouble. And a little Chinatown. 80, 86% game. Don't give me that crap. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. Just had a little uh, something in my mouth. Gross. And no, it wasn't what you think it was. We need to we need to finish these guys off so we can help with the uh, with them against Dyer and Faulkner. All right. Otherwise, they're gonna get surrounded. I guess we could do. S s oh. Had to be bit, had to be careful. I'm kind of uh, filling out too much. We'll just let Halleck uh, finish him off. I think. Well, actually, no. We should be able to do the damage for that. Might not be. Nice. Uh, I'm still deciding if I want to go ahead and max out her agility or not. Yeah. I think, I think that'll work. That'll work. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to worry about in this fight. I don't think so. I think I'm good for the most part. Very nice. I'll go ahead and max out our agility too while we're here. And uh, that way we won't have to worry about that. Hopefully we'll be able to get Cecilia's final, uh, final ability. Although I'm not as worried on that, really, of getting that from her. I'll say Faulkner is about to start moving here pretty soon. There we go. Alright, now we can help uh, with uh, fighting those uh, Imperial units. Oh, okay. Well, Dyer's going to come this way anyway. Alright, I guess we'll have our have our, uh, have our off uh, Team B. That's... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's FP's going to max out. Yeah, let's go and do that. That means giving uh, all the other units, uh, or all the Team A, more uh, damage and everything. Yeah, take some Flare Bomb, mister. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Dyer, for whatever reason, is not much of a threat because of the way his stats have been... Despite his stats being high, I don't know, it's, it's because of all the... Wait, how did... You missed me! How did you miss me? Did, oh, that's right. I think I think the Ultra Gunner has like some ability that, uh, yeah, reflect attack. There's a small chance that uh, that I can always get missed. Well, not always, but I'll, I can get missed. But I didn't think that worked if you were if your FP was full, or you know. Wow, that's kind of a bit strange. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, I'm glad I guess, but it's still weird. Are you gonna come down, Faulkner? Good. Yeah, Dyer's been attacked too many times, so he's good there. Nope, nothing close enough. There. We'll keep working on on these two bozos. Let's finish this guy off. Yeah, there we go. Nice. All right, Bastion, I think, is gonna unlock his final ability. Excellent. Always nice. And then we're good for the rest of the game for Bastion. I mean, I'll obviously want to gain more levels, but, you know. I want to give Cecilia that kill if I can. Uh-oh. 
That's not good. <laughs> okay. Hey man, if the if the if, if it works in your favor, I won't I won't uh, knock it. Damn it! They're putting up more of a fight than expected. We should leave here, Prince. Di wow! All you have to do is knock out Prince Dyer, huh? All right. We should leave here, Prince Dyer. But I don't want to leave until we finish them off. Dyer does his portrait does make him sound like he's a whining child. Your Highness, we must attend the ascension ceremony in the capital if you are to claim the throne. It would be unwise to suffer a defeat here and miss the ceremony. Agreed. Agreed. Let us retreat to the capital. Okay, he's not really whining anymore, but you know what I mean. Thank you, Prince Dyer. Oh, well, there you go. Okay. All right, let's finish off the rest of the guards, I guess. Uh, what's our levels at so far? Um, if Halleck or Franco could get there and get the kill, I'd appreciate it, but I doubt that's going to happen. But let's find out. Who knows, maybe we can get them there. Because they're the ones on the lowest levels right now. Right, because Cecilia's still like a level 20, which is fine. I might just uh, nickel and dime these guys to death until the others get over there. Yeah, that's what I'll do, I think. Alright. See if we can sneak attack him. Halleck over there. Just like before. Nickel and Diamond to death. Oh, gain another level. Nice. I raise up those stats, I think. I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna regret it, like, by not leveling up her uh um her defense or whatever, but I'm just gonna counter you. I don't care about taking the hit. Uh, Franco's levels don't need to be that high for the most part. Or morale, I mean. I don't know if the, uh, putting them in these new mechs was a good idea. Then again, it could have been just the, the way things went, you know what I mean? I have to raise the weapon. I almost never raise the weapon straight up. I'm satisfied with that, I think. I think that's a solid showing. Yeah, might as well just oops. Might as well just start balancing out uh Franco really. They're gone for now. Sadira must be torn apart inside. What a horrible situation. What a terrible night for a curse. Oh yeah, because now her basically a nation has for, has 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 basically thrown her away, and Dyer thinks she's a criminal. Which I'm surprised. You know, usually family members kind of give their family members the, de the, the the benefit of the doubt, despite uh, despite uh, you know evidence. You know, at least at first anyway. But that was totally impressive, Bastian. Thanks for saving all our butts. It was my pleasure, Claire. Although I found it even more enjoyable to kick the Empire's backside. I didn't find anything enjoyable about it at all. Oh, right. Whoops. Your spirits high, you must keep them, Princess. Persist and you shall prove your innocence and Faulkner's guilt, yes? I'm not worried about that as much as what will happen to my brother. So, like, it's probably a bad idea for us to stay in Imperial territory. I think our new base of operations should be my dad's castle. Hey, there was a reason we got Nora Delay to help us out. Hooray! That's a wonderful idea, Claire. Thank you. Let's go. Yeah, at least we got a, a an ally somewhere. At least the father won't rat us out. So watch out for falling rocks, okay? These mountains are all treacherous and stuff. I have a bad feeling about this. Princess, there's an attack. Uh, attack dead ahead. Check your scanners. A perfect timing. Oh boy! After that, we got another encounter. Oh boy! Well, we found out a lot this episode. We got the royal, we got the the ultimate attack, the ultra gunner. But Sadira has been uh, has been shown to be a traitor by her country due to Faulkner's lies and convincing her brother otherwise. And now his brother is also her brother is now the emperor. Her father's dead. It's a whirlwind of emotions, and we've still got to fight our way to Nordelane so we can have a base of calm operations. 
to figure out what to do next. Will we be able to survive this ambush? Or will we be, or will we be scattered to the four winds of the world? Join me next time in the next episode of Vanguard Bandits. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.